Hello students, today I am doing uh, NetBean Java program. So how to use NetBean? First of all, I have a project for develop a Java GUI applications. So I have installed uh, NetBean ID 8.1. So you are seeing here 8.1 NetBean is opening, it is open now. So first of all, I have lots of project open in this NetBean. I have already done the project so I basically I will introduce how to design and write a code for this project so stay tuned subscribe my channel and continue stay tuned with my video I am Krishna Rajput from IT programming world so let us start I have a project basically if you are a student from 11 and 12th class for the if you have IP uh, books IP syllabus in your CVSC course so you have provided project from the school sites so once you uh, the a uh, one project name is bakery management so how to make a project for the bakery management as like a software with the database connectivity so first of all, I have create a project file. Go to the file, click on new project, and select Java categories and the project name Java application. Select next. Enter your project name. I have mentioned here the bakery system project name. I have wrote down. So I am cancelling this because I have already done this project. So once you done, they look like this. Your uh, this is your project look like. So once you're done, you need to add a GUI JFrame. How to add? So go to the source code, click on right click, and then option, expand the option button and add a JFrame. The second option is JFrame. Click on JFrame. And once you click, you enter the JFrame name as per your project. I have uh, bakery entry system Java. And then finish. So, in this project, bakery management system, I have a table, I have a window application look like this. First of all, I am showing the design. I have run my project. Waiting. In the running on progress, this is my project. This is item ID, item name and price. This is three labels, three text box and these are buttons. So these buttons, all buttons have already done the code coding and all buttons are working perfectly. So this form, it is connected with my database with the SQL Server Management Studio. So all the database is stored with, in my SQL Server. So first of all, once you click on first item, you are saying the output first column value data founded success. 100 is item ID, item name is bread and price is 50. Once you click on next, you are showing the next item. There is no any next item in this table. So I have a, a SQL server also. I have opened the SQL server. Let me check the table click on yes so I'm actually this application so how to design this form J from so first off once you add your J frame you have a blank J frame then you drag and drop from the platelet labels drag and drop labels three levels you require drag and drop then text box you drag and drop then you are drag and drop the buttons one by one drag and drop then go to the click on right click on your buttons edit name same as it is you can do the same your labels your text box you can do the change the name and as well if you want to change the variable name you can change it as and apart from this uh, how to text size change the text size you go to the properties 
there is a font size you can set to your font size as well as bold 18 as well as you can 14 you can 14 as well select it and click on ok close properties so now for the source code this is design part we have understand this is a design part so the source code how to connect with the SQL server so first of all if you make a connection through the SQL of the NetBean GUI application Java application so first of all you need to download the if you already install uh, SQL server management studio I have installed SQL server 2008 you know, machine so you need to download the SQL JDBC driver jar file so I have already downloaded you can I have seen you just a moment document this is my project name netbin object and I am showing the jar file. So, and leave the SQL JDBC 4. I have already downloaded. So, you need to add the jar file in your go to the services and there is a database. Click how to make a new connection for uh, through and uh, NetBin ID to to SQL Server database click here and scroll down the new driver click on new driver and once you click on new driver there is a new driver pop up window click on add and add to SQL JDBC 4 once you click on ok it is added ok I have already added all the process once you complete this process click on ok ok cancel this once you done this this is I have already added for this project so once you make a connection you need to require a password because I am uh, access to the SQL server authentication so the go to the pro properties you can check all the things in properties driver name MySQL server 2005 and the connection name driver class name com dot microsoft sql server you can check click on here microsoft sql server jdbc sql driver database url you can check with the database url as well as my jdbc sql server localhost port number 1433 database name object so where we check your port number so go to the start sql configuration manager click on sql configuration manager yes there is something error not an issue once again I am click here ok not a problem so once you go to configuration manager TCP IP pro protocol properties I didn't click properties we are go seeing the your port number ok I have already connected the database so disconnect first not an issue there is some error through the SQL not a problem so I hope you have understand the design part and database uh, manual connection how to make a manual connection so the next video will be learn how to manual connection full video so in this project how to write a code for the first item okay this is my home page 
click on home page go to the new bakery menu dot set visible okay this is my home page bakery menu once you click this is not a design page okay blank page first of next item so i have first of added a package name so i make a connection through the sql so package name how to add in java you know about this import java.util util is a universal package all the packages included in the util in the sql server i may make a connection through the sql now the sql driver manager and i am using a java x sync j option pan for the j option pan message dialog so i have make a connection for the first uh, like first item button so the connection for write the connection connection the reference number con as well as you can write down this uh, for like connection con equal to new connection you can make as well as both are the same i think some spelling mistake not only so you can make as a reference it's a good there is no any error so i'm deleted this line and the for the statement str result for the result set these are the make a connection so i'm using a try catch block for the exception handling try in a the class is Uh, class name and this is the method name for name and this is the sql server driver name so we have already seen in properties in uh, services right click go to the properties showing the same information this one dot com sql driver manager and the next one is jdbc this one jdbc sql server localhost 1433 database name is project username and the password is this okay close now the statement or con create constraint now create a query select item id item name price from the item now the next query insert the query rs dos next and i in get i have input the value in the text box text was on item id item name and price t1 t2 t3 where the text box name set value in this way and the showing the message data found success and the in a catch we have uh, for the exception handling we can handle for through the ca catch exception e j option pan the so message dialog error data not found so i have done the code for this button execute this application application executed click on pause data found success value is inserted here click on go to the home go to the home this is my bakery home project so i hope you are understand how to write, uh, make a project gui application in java using a netbeans with the database connectivity so the next video we will see all the project codes will be saying so if you have any query any uh, comments you can feel free uh, comments in my video and subscribe my channel stay tuned with it programming world for the next video thank you for watching